Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 16, Thoughts, in which we ponder, what if? Very cool that we eventually did actually get a what if show that's somewhat in the MCU. Yes, uh, spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Another episode I love, this is one of my favorites. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, uh, this reminds me somewhat of an arc on Charmed, this idea of if you try to take away pain, you'll end up with this sort of totalitarian state, you know, and yeah, loved it then, love it now, loved it there, love it here, and yeah, um, great tension when, you know, Daisy wakes up and Ward, or, or yeah, Daisy goes to the, the bed and it's, it's Ward, there, you know, the, I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again, Brett Dalton really is fantastic on this show, just, you know, in this scene, in, in this episode, he manages this perfect balance where some of the time he's like, you know, season one, yeah, first half of season one ward, this kind of, he's, he's maybe a little bit uptight, but he's, there's a charm to him, you know, okay, sure, there's, you know, you can understand, and then this, you know, the the more, like, yeah, the, the dangerous and really, like, kind of cruel, more than kind of, ward that he's been since the reveal that he was a Hydra double agent, you know, and... You know, we feel that, and Daisy feels that, because it is this thing of, like, you know, is he going to, like, attack her? Is he going to turn her in? You know, and then by the end we find out, oh, he's actually, he's a double agent, which is legit, like, yeah, that is legitimately very fun. That, you know, if, if the, the people with a lot of power in America, if, if the, spy agency with a lot of power in America is S.H.I.E.L.D., he's HYDRA. If they're HYDRA, he's resistance, you know. It's just, yeah. And, yeah, the way that, you know, because for moments of this first scene of, of you know, he's, you know, she, she spots him, and she's like, oh, and, you know, she's trying to use her, her quake powers, and then he's like, is, is that a thing we do now? And, you know, her not having powers, I guess it's possible we'll get... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, right, they said, because they tested, in in the framework, she has... Sky Johnson has not gone through Terragenesis, but does have... So I guess, is it possible that she will unlock them later? And, and in this pod, maybe, anyway. But yeah, you know, and, and like, right before he, he leaves the room, he, like, does the weirdo and just walks up, just, you know, because to him, they're just a, a couple, you know, and, yeah, um, we get the title card, and instead of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it's Agents of Hydra. Very nicely done. And, yeah, on the way to work... We hear the, the radio, and it's just, you know, openly bigoted against Inhumans. Very messed up. And, you know, she sees the Hydra logo on the Triskelion. She's like, oh my god. And Ward's like, I know, some days the Triskelion is just so beautiful. <laughs> and an Inhuman is beaten, like you know, right there in, in, like, in custody, and just, you know, and Daisy walks up, she's gonna try to stop it, and Ward is like, hey, don't, don't worry, they got it under control. <laughs> Which is also, once we realize that he's resistance, everything he's said and done in the entire episode is reevaluated. He might have actually guessed that she was going to interfere. At the very least, he was thinking this is not good for the mission. This is going to get her noticed. If they see that she has sympathies for an inhuman, maybe they'll test her again. Maybe this time I won't be able to hide the 
the test results, you know, and, and you know, at, at one point he says, your, your attitude or work is lousy or some, something like that, sucks, I think is the word he uses. And, yeah, you know, at the time we think, oh, you know, super, super spy, Grant Ward, he's always got, you know, but no, he's like, you're going to get caught. You're going to, you know, they're going to look closer at you and they're going to take you away. And let's see. Yeah, and, and he, he apologizes. You know, she asked him if they could live together. And he was like, uh, you know, there's some stuff. There's some stuff about me you don't know, and I don't know how you'd feel about me if you knew. And uh, yeah, you know, Daisy's thinking, oh, I, I know. You know, she, yeah, she even says, don't, don't worry, I already know. But no, the thing that he didn't want her to realize, what the is, yeah, he's resistance because he's not sure if she's ready. You know, by the end of the episode, he's like, okay. Fair enough, she is ready to to help with the, or, yeah, she has sympathies at the very least, you know, and, yeah, like, <laughs> he was thinking, you know, if we move in together, she might be able to keep too much of an eye on me, I won't be able to do resistance stuff. You know, which, and it's great, because the first time we just hear it, yeah, it sounds like, oh, you know, what, I, I guess even in the framework, he's, like, kidnapping people and, and you know, torturing, you know, yeah. And, let's see, yeah, and, and she looks up Lincoln and finds that he died in testing and yeah sees that Gemma was as well and May shows up and is even more intense than than usual just yeah and yeah we very very harrowing scene when when Gemma unburies herself and like for the entire rest of the episode her voice is very you know it's it's like a it's like a pony. It's it's a little horse, and you know I I keep waiting for her to like walk into to, to you know crap. What's that called? C cafe, I guess, and like you know just politely ask for a glass of water. And yeah, you know she she's really taken aback by the detail to the the simulation and yeah you know Julia spots her and and agrees to, to take her in and you know, she's like what don't they have inhuman checkpoints everywhere now and and Gemma's like oh I guess my I, I guess I lost my ID back there and Julia's like you don't understand you need your ID and and you know sees that it's shield. She's like, get out, get out of my car, please close the door. You know she's like, even it goes past like she's you know, it's not just oh I don't I don't really want to get involved. I'm not so political. It goes beyond like you know oh you know those people should get locked up. No, even if you're near someone who doesn't you know yeah. Who's not approved by Hydra? Yeah, you're 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 gonna get arrested and like you know this is not the reaction of someone who's like you know ah great I guess I gotta deal with the the cops now they're gonna talk to me for hours and I might lose a day of work no this is a woman who's like they are going to put us somewhere and no one will hear from us ever again and yeah. Very, I, there's so much going on in the scene of Daisy interrogating Vija, v, 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 uh, Nadir, Vijay Nadir, you know, just, yeah, the, the, she's, she's trying to not, you know, she doesn't want to, like, be unpleasant, you know, at, like, at first, it's, it's very, like, 
student that didn't actually read the book and is now trying to do a book report like reading from the back of well this book was released in 1994 and is anybody interested in the, the publishing okay you know she's just re yeah and and it is you know she's not technically doing anything wrong by the rules of investigation but she's not being anywhere near intense enough you know and and may like texts her probably because the you know this this two-way mirror is a little the the it's a little too strong for the the stern silent look to to travel through so text instead and yeah when when ward punches vj we're thinking you know oh Hydra's man of the hour, you know, always this, but no, he's he's trying to shut up VJ so that the resistance can can keep going. Just yeah, very very nicely done. And Gemma is arrested, but manages to to get away. I quite like these guns that fire like like essentially like stun gun kind of thing, stun gun bullet. And we see Coulson delivering propaganda, which, you know, was teased at the very, very end of the episode before this one. And, yeah, quite appreciate, you know, he says, Hydra restored law and order. You know, the, this, you know, the, the term law and order is a racist dog whistle. There was actually, there was a really excellent video recently. I'm going to put it in the, in the description box. Um, what was something about? Uh, law and order's biggest lie by skip intro. Gotta make sure to put that in the description box. So, um, yeah, the, the very nicely, Good, good, you know, it sends a very clear message. The, um, and, and I quite appreciate the, the kid, so Bur Burnell is apparently the character's name, you know, pointing out, but Hydra started as, as Nazis, and, you know, yeah, later in the episode, I think in this episode they, they say the word Nazis like four or five times, five times maybe, you know, really appreciate the the. There was this excellent video. Maybe I'll link that in the description as well. Um, I think it was something like. Um, uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Crap! I don't remember one hundred percent the. Um, cause it was it was definitely was it maybe this? Here we go. Yes, uh, going rampant videos. Captain America TFA isn't really anti-fascist, where she points out, you know, they don't actually say, you know, they're they're very careful to not say that Hydra is Nazi. So, really appreciate that on this show. They actually come right out and say that. And, let's see. Yeah, and they mention, you know, that girl from Bahrain, you know, she but she was allowed into a classroom, and now look at where we are, you know. And, yeah, immediately we're like, that was the regret that May had that was changed by Ada. You know, and <laughs> which I suppose does wait. Does is that supposed to mean that like, oh, it was good that she killed this little girl because think of what could have happened. Okay, not a biggest fan of of that, but there's a lot of great stuff in this episode, so I'll I'll forgive it. And the um, yeah, it's, um, Colson says before the incident. There were more than 1,500 papers, and it's like, 
so now there's, you know, it's state-run media. Yikes. And... Yeah, and they, they've mentioned the doctor a couple of times, and now we see it's it's Fitz. And yeah, um did not did not see coming that Fitz would be a, a Nazi like Doctor and, and Nazi, so he's like Mengele, I guess. And yeah, yeah. By yeah, when when we see him testing for you know and Daisy's like, obviously there are side effects. And he's like, yeah, I mean, we're not triggering it. I'm not an idiot. You know, yeah, he's he's Mengele. And yeah, I I gotta say, when I first saw Fitz in the first episode, he looked 12. You know, it's and, and they've really done a great job gradually aging him. Like, if I watched this episode right after I watched the pilot, I'd be like, okay, that's ridiculous. That's not Fitz. You know, maybe it's the same actor, but that's, you know, but no, they've, you know, he has grown more intense over the years. And not to, like, not evil, but, you know, more, more, like, slightly more, more toughened and hardened. And, yeah. Let's see, then we have the... Yeah, um, Simmons tries to to convince Coulson of the of the truth. Really, really amazing performance by Elizabeth Henstridge. Just so yeah, really, really hits you hard. You know when when she brings up Tahiti, which does end up working. And, you know, he does report her. I also quite like Gemma and, and Burnell. You know, the thing of... <laughs> you know, he, like, he tags the car with Hydra lies. And she's like, you, I can't drive in this car now. And he's like, I didn't tag your car. Well, that's how Hydra... You're standing there with the can in your hand. Well, that's how Hydra does it, isn't it? Which... Yeah, exactly. They they do a thing that's obviously wrong, and then they tell everyone, no, that's not what we're doing. You know, that's fascism. It's, yeah. It's not only fascism, but... Yeah, it is something fascists do. And... Yeah, you know, um, back in his office, Colson is going through all of his papers, finds things, you know, Tahiti, and goes a few extra, and, you know, he finds... All work and no play makes Tahiti a magical place. And yeah, the we need to talk. And yeah, gotta say, did not at all see coming that Ward would be resistance. You know, this, is the is she your contact? Are you resistance? And you know, shoots. You know, and, and yeah, and Daisy says, "I don't, I don't have anything to do with the resistance." And he shoots. Well, I do. <laughs> and and yeah, Gemma's line about you know, um, yeah. So you're Hydra, and you've been protecting Sky. Yeah, that's why I joined the resistance. Oh, I was the double agent. And this is who you woke up with. You two were together. Oh, this isn't the framework. This is hell. And. Yeah, the the good scene of of Daisy and Simmons talking in, you know, trying trying to figure out, you know, and and eventually, yeah, they do. They are like, we gotta go back. We gotta figure out a new strategy, and then the button doesn't work. And yeah, you know, it's because Simmons was recognized. You know, she, and yeah, it went to to Ada, and now. You know, what is it? She says, I just closed a loophole. You know, yeah. And... Yeah, also a really great scene between Ada and Fitz. And... I think that is about... Right, and yeah, uh, really, you know, the, the final scene of the episode is, is also great. 
or, or the yeah the post credit scene this thing of you know the um yeah daisy you know talking to to colson and eventually he manages to actually remember her so it is possible or it's po i guess it's maybe it's only for colson since he had his memory erased once before but it you know buried deep underneath you know it is still some of the some of these memories are still there and so some episode specific i'm to be trivia colson teaches at alexander pierce high school alexander pierce from winter soldier At the end, there's an epitaph for Bill Paxton, who died a little more than a month before this episode aired. Let's see. And a newspaper article in Colson's folder says, Winslow Doctor arrested for subversion. While the headline suggests the doctor lives in a place called Winslow, the article says the man arrested is a doctor in Cleveland who is experimenting with altering human genetics. Though they don't release his name, Dr. Winslow is the new name given to Calvin Johnson, Daisy's father, played by Carl McLaughlin after his mind is wiped by the Tahiti device at the end of season two. And, and, I mean, they gave him a completely new... So that was probably... That was probably that Ada, like, looked at that and she was like, mm, I don't know, he's been... You know, he helped in humans before, even though the afterlife in humans weren't exactly, you know, presidents of his fan club. But, no, you know, he might be a threat, so have him arrested because I don't think that he would like after his mind altering would he really still be doing that it sounds to me like it's a it's a cover-up and right um, the the um, one person points out the this thing of Hydra running the world could be a nod to secret empire in which Hydra also rules the world and let's see. <laughs> Colson c cuts out a newspaper article with a headline Loyalist Felix Blake given parade Hydra hero human first champion celebrated for advocacy played by Titus Welliver Blake's first Blake first appeared in the Marvel one shot item 47 and then in several episodes as shield agent then affiliate of the watchdogs yeah he probably is a hero to, to Hydra in the framework. And, yeah, the title of the show, of, of this episode, refers to the Marvel comic, seri comic book series, What If, where regular characters are taken in imaginary what-if directions, just like this story arc where Daisy and Gemma are in a world where Hydra won. Oh, huh, yeah. In the framework, Ada looks exactly like comic book villain Viper, also known as Madam Hydra. And that actually is what her, what Mallory Jansen, who normally plays Ada, is credited as in this episode on IMDb. So, yeah, I get, yeah, that is, that is what she's playing. And that's, you know, she's still protecting the framework as she was programmed. And... You know, and, and that really is, yeah, the, the, um, in order for Ada to do the most she can to protect this world, you know, to, to keep this world running exactly the way that she, you know, that Radcliffe thinks it should be, yeah, she becomes a dictator, you know, that the, the, um, one of the central elements of dictatorships of, for example, fascism, not all, dictatorships are fascist yeah you know this this total control over the yeah the world so makes you know that again Radcliffe if he had thought this through would not have ended up creating this but yeah you know the because he you know 
yeah, it's a bit of a warning against AI, really. And right. Um, let's see. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, real quick. I don't know. No. Uh, um, yeah. Someone wrote up the entire obituary that we can see in this episode into IMDb trivia. I don't really see anything super interesting in it so I am just gonna move on but yeah um so far really really loving the agents of Hydra pod and I they keep on on this show they keep coming up with really really interesting story arcs and yeah I'm I'm here for it